Hi, welcome to Clear Answers, Episode 4. Thomas Stevenson asks, Sifu Clear, can you touch on time management? How do you make time to practice Tai Chi, Bagua, Silat, Wing Chun, combat tactics, iron body, uh, think you meant, etc. There's a few different things to know here. One of them is that uh, ultimately you're going to want to practice whatever skill set you can all of the time. And so if I'm standing in line, I'm usually doing like Wu Chi, right? If I'm, when I get up and I'm walking to the bathroom first thing in the morning, there are certain things that I'm doing. When I get out of the shower, there are certain things that I'm doing. And it's part of this all day training process. And you should make that something that happens automatically. In other words, if you're having to think about it and think about it and think about it, other than when you initially start a new practice of some kind, then you're probably not really doing it enough. If you do Wu Chi so much that, it, that just standing there, somebody goes, are you in Wu Chi right now? If they know what you're doing, and you go, oh yeah, that's probably right. If you're kind of going, oh gee, I haven't done Wu Chi today, that's not nearly enough. Um, and so you've got a lot of the internal practices that are like in the, in the Tai Chi and the Bagua and, and some of this that are the same kind of practices. The iron body is embedded within the Tai Chi if it's done correctly. So when I'm doing my stuff for iron body, I'm also doing this right stuff that I'd be doing for Tai Chi. Um, so hopefully that helps. James Rankin asks, I have a question regarding developing Fa Jing, being able to lift heavy weights, using internal power and training methods. My instructor has us using trees as punching bags to train, parry, and punch, brush knee, etc., stating he learned the method from reading how Sun Lu Dang, or Sun Lu Dong, used to practice on cannons and have them move after so much practice. Additionally, I understand that Chang Ting Hua was able to lift a 90 kilogram broadsword. Could you suggest additional training methods out of your repertoire that could allow someone to achieve similar feats to increase one's health and vitality? Thank you. And so the thing, I, based on the questioning and all that, that I'm going to suggest is our first Bagua exercise. It is free online on YouTube. The, uh, and basically add to that, not just doing it standing up tall, but go all the way down to thighs parallel. You ought to be able to operate at thighs parallel for anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. You really ought to be very, very, very comfortable down there and with one-legged stuff doing whatever you would do. Our teacups is going to put you through a full range of motion doing that to really build your leg strength that then will become part of your whole body power. The arts that you've, that you've mentioned here, both the Tai Chi and the Bagua, use that in its essential practice to being able to have the kind of power that you're asking about in that question. Adam Morris asks, did you train with Chang Chuan to develop this technique? What you're describing sounds similar to that of Yi Chuan, whose initial focus is on the development of internal strength through holding postures. And so I was wondering if it was part of your training or if you reached it through other means. I teach the method to do this and that you can do when you're working on your own, you know, every day at home uh, with the iron, internal iron body video. To train that information, ideally you would get into the push hands and you would use that information while you're doing the push hands, continually refining and improving the internal things that are going on so that you actually use that to train and refine it. Thank you for watching. Ask your questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.